Hmm, what have we here sitting on the operating table? Hello, kitties! It's me! It's Uncle Ravi in my science corner! Woohoo! Cue the uh, really funny music. Anyway, I'm sitting here in uh, my house, my kitchen table. All you can see is my hand, so hey, what's happening? All right, thumbs up. Peace. Live long and prosper. Anyway, we're going to talk about installing the hip shot four string bass tremolo bridge. This body is uh, quite an accomplishment for me, okay? The first thing you need to know about a hip shot bass tremolo bridge is that one, it requires quite a bit of routing, okay? So the first thing you need to do is to either get a custom made body and, or if you wanna put some this on your old Fender P bass, which I really, I really don't advise you to do it, you know, to take a beautiful instrument and route holes in it. Now, remember, I told you, this is, this is a, goes, it's like a, it's like a Strat bridge, okay? And the thing that you need to know is, unless you're an experienced machinist, okay, you're not going to be able to cut these holes I mean, I am the worst freehand router in the entire world, and you'll see that when you see the control cavity butcher job I did on this body. But this body is quite an accomplishment, and I'll explain that to you in a little bit. Um, you're gonna, if you want to put one of these bridges on your bass guitar, okay? My advice to you is to just order a body, a brand new body that is cut for this, okay? That is the simplest, most effective way to do it. Um, and this body blank, I bought this as a body blank from Wormuth Guitar Products. They're out there in Pally Up Up or whatever it's called, Washington. Great company, I've been dealing with them for 20, over probably almost 30 years now. Um, they used to be boogie, I don't know what the hell they were called, boogie bodies or, you know, at, at mighty might, I, they, they were called something and then they became Wormuth, okay? Um, I ordered this body as a blank. Now the reason why, if, if you can see, oh, I got it so zoomed in. This is an explorer shaped body, okay? And this was, um, I'll explain the body to you. I, I love Raven. I love the band Raven. I love John Gallagher. He's a beautiful man. He really is. I And um, it was, I don't know, about a year and a half ago, I saw him up in uh, Oneida, New York. They were playing the Vets Club. There was no stage. They were standing on the floor. I mean, they had a humongous PA system, and, of course, they were Raven. But they were there just like, you know, a bunch of regular guys like me or one of my bands would be. You know, standing there on the floor. And after the gig, I talked to John Gallagher from uh, Raven. And I talked to Mark, and we took pictures. And it was it was very special. I mean, I love those guys. I've loved them since I was in... in I mean, really, since uh, Crash Bang Wallop came out. And that's the single I heard in high school. Anyway, I digress. I saw Raven, and I was talking to John Gallagher about his Orange Explorer. And... I was actually talking to Mark more about it. Mark's his brother. He's the guitar player. And uh, I said, I love John's Explorer. So I was I was talking to John, and um, after I was talking to Mark, he says, well, why don't you just go ask Johnny about it? And I was like, I said, yeah, I don't want to bother him. But anyway, Johnny came over, and um, fantastic guy. A real, real nice bloke. I mean, complete and total British gentleman. Of course, they live in America now. But... I digress once again. Here's my hands. Look, I'm doing things. Here is the church. Here is the steeple. Here is the church. Here is the steeple. Open the door and see all the people. I forgot how it goes, man. Anyway, I'm a Sunday school freaking uh, <sighs> dropout. So I saw Raven. Oh, man, this is a really convoluted, long video. Um, and John Gallagher had a custom-made tremolo that he did. 
on his bass guitar, and his bass guitar, I said, I love the orange one. He says, he says, well, it's, it's not, it's not really orange. It's, it's more like tomato soup red, and that's exactly how he said it. So of course, I went on the arduous task of going to uh, Home Depot to find the correct uh, color of Rust-Oleum paint. The other thing is, you can't buy an Explorer body anymore because Gibson USA has. Uh, you used to be able to from Warmoth. They had all the shapes, but Gibson USA said, no, you can't use that anymore because that's our copyright and blah, blah, blah. So basically, this was just a body blank that I got from Warmoth. And I got it left-handed because the precision bass pickup, as you can see right there, that's a reverse P bass pickup. And that's what John actually has in his bass. So I ordered myself, and it comes as this big... Uh, I'll zoom. I'll zoom out just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, I'll zoom out just a little bit. There you go. Now you can see my operating table. Um, I, his his was reversed. Now this body came. It was a big, but see, this this point wasn't here. Okay. It, matter of fact, you, I can actually see the still a little bit of the line where I glued this part. Onto here. So this just became came as a big, big square piece of wood. It was like that and that. And uh and I got it reversed. I got left-handed. So the pickup would be reversed. Now the great thing about the hip shot, the hip shot bridge, made right here in New York State in Interlocking, check it out. Um is symmetrical, which is a great thing. So and it really is a great thing. So if you like to put your bar in here, your whammy bar in there. That's fine, but rah, 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 okay? Or if you like to be like Randy Coven, and if anybody knows who the fuck Randy Coven is, you get extra points. Rah, 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 up there. Funk Me Tender was one of his albums back in the 80s. God, I'm dating myself. So, really, installing one of these on a, you know, off-the-shelf stock instrument really is not practical unless you have a huge amount of machining experience and maybe a CNC uh, milling machine. Um, I would not attempt to do it because, like I said, you got to cut this and then you got to go in the back and cut that. And that, my friends, is rocket science. No bullshit. I would not try and do this myself. So I ordered the body from Warmoth. And you can actually see if oh, I can get the right lighting. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You can see. Well, it's good. You can hardly see it. The back, I, I didn't fuck up. The top, I did fuck up. And I'll explain that later, too, sometime, whatever. You can see right here is the line where what I did was I cut off the body blank, this part here, and then I flipped it around, and I glued it here. And then I took my eight-string Explorer base body, put it on top and and I took long bolts you know through the the neck pockets of this body blank and my eight and I just took a pen and I traced it around it and then I got out my handy dandy freaking jigsaw I'm talking this thing could have been done on my kitchen table actually it was done using nothing else but a black and decker workmate okay and um my dad's my dad's porter cable jigsaw and a lot of freaking sanding. I mean, once I got it roughed out, then I sat there and sanded it and sanded it and sanded it and sanded it until I got into the right shape. Took a lot of freaking work. This probably took, you know, and I was staying with my parents at the time because somebody had to, and I had nothing else to do because uh, I was there all the time. So I just hung out in the garage, and I'm like, I had a walkie-talkie. I was like, Ma, if you need me, call me. I'll be on the radio. And uh, I sat in their garage for hours and hours and hours and hours. And I, actually, and I actually cut this out, and then I spray finished it. And the reason why, I call this my Freddy Krueger paint job. When I saw John Gallagher, um, you know, he was like, yeah, the patina on that base. His base body was made out of, like, 16-ply marine plywood. And he's had the thing since, you know, he's had the thing almost 40 years now. And with that custom-made trim on it, and God knows how he did it. So I wanted a base like him to, because I love John Gallagher. I love, I, I, I my three favorite bass players in the entire world are are John Entwistle. Okay, there's John. He's the big thumb. Thumb the fingers. Thumb the fingers. Let me... You know? And John Gallagher just like... 
John Gallagher, I, I really believe, is better than Billy Jean. And you know what? Fucking Billy, if you want to kick my ass for saying that, fucking have at it. But John Gallagher blows you away, motherfucker. Billy's from Buffalo, so I don't know. Maybe I'll get, I'll see him one of these days on the throughway. But anyway, I digress even more. So now that we have established that you cannot put one of these on, it's not like a Kaler where you dr just, you know, route a little T-shaped thing and they're tiny little girly man, the girly man little Kaler springs, you know, they're sitting there and you make boo 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 and they got little rollers and stuff. Um, it ain't, it ain't like that. This thing is the real effing deal. This is dot. You can dive bomb with the. Anyway, I'll get into that later. You, I love these things. Trust me, I'm so excited. So, comes in. Remember, I said the studs. I showed you them. Well, these have been hammered in already, and I I dismantled this base because I had to take the bridge to the hardware store. Like I said, to find a little, a little, a little brass screw right there to replace the one that vibrated out because I hadn't done the blue Loctite, not red Loctite, blue Loctite, not red Loctite, blue Loctite. So anyway, so once you get your studs hammered in, okay, you just take a little brass hammer rubber mallet and tap them in, and uh, then you have your insert screws. So, and what you do is really simple. You just kinda twist them in. And the kit does come with the big Allen wrench, and that's what that's for. Um, you know, I, I just basically put mine all the way down. There's a reason for that. It's because I don't, I don't, ha this could float. This bridge could actually float like a Floyd Rose. I don't, I, I tighten the springs in the back so much that this thing's just flat. So anyway, so you put your bridge on there. Now, if you notice a couple of things on, on the, uh, let's get it focused. Let's get it focused. Okay. On one side, it's just a straight rod. And the other, it's got two little, little pincer-like things. I don't know the rationale for it, and I swear to God, I hope I one day do get to talk to the guys uh, from Hipshot about it, because these, this, their products are just engineering miracles. And I mean, really, I, I was designing something like this when I was in high school, as like a machine shop project, and uh, you know, I mean, they actually did it. It took them. From the time I got out of high school, probably like, I don't know, almost 20 years. But they finally did it. This is like my dream, really, to have one of these. And when I saw Gallagher, you know, when I saw Johnny Gallagher playing, oh, here's that big ass freaking height adjustment uh, thing. Yeah, do, 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 do. See? Just, just an Allen wrench, don't worry about it. Not important. When I saw John Gallagher, I was just so motivated, inspired to just do up a bass like his. And, and this means a lot to me because my mother bought me the parts for this. She was kind of like my compensation for taking care of her and my father for, you know, all those months. But so anyway, so that's that's how you do it. You put the studs in, you drop the bridge. This is really easy and I'm making this a lot more difficult on myself. Hold it there. Flip it over on your table. Put on the table. Now, now holding this thing in here is a pain in the friggin' neck. So... What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna get it situated. See, I'm gonna get it situated. I'll hold it there. And right now, remember I said the screws, these are the little screws in this claw, they're already installed. Remember I said they were really long? Well, there's a good reason for that and I'm gonna show you in a second, okay? You put, you put the little angle end in there and then what you do is you hold it there and you slip it over there, right? Now you go to the other side, you do the same thing, all right? Okay? And then you go like this, okay? And then you go like this, okay? Are, are you still watching? Are you still watching? Do I still have your attention? Or are you, are you, are you passed out and puking by now? Because uh, this is so freaking exciting. And you put that there. Now, you got on. Now here's the deal. All you need to install this thing is the, the it, 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 what's not included in the kit is that regular Phillips head screwdriver. Now, here's how you adjust the tension. And here's why the screws are so long. You take this and you screw that in a little, right? And you're watching this in real time. You see, can see the string stretch, stretch, and 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 
You just keep screwing it, and you get one side going, and the other side going, and the other side going, and the other side going. Here we go, stretching the strings, we're having fun, stretching the strings, putting the tremolo in. I don't know, I've had a pretty rough day. I had to go do laundry in town because my washing machine is kind of on the fritz, and I'm much better of a guitar repairman, yeah, like Eddie Van Halen used to do than I am a washing machine repairman. And you just want to just torque it in, little at a time, one side or the other. And now you can see the strings, the springs rather, are at tension. Now here's the deal. I'm gonna flip it over again, right? This, this bridge now is, is pinned to the body. So what you do, this is not a screw in, not a screw in trim, it's just a, kind of like a taper fit. And it's got a little plastic thing in there that holds it in so it doesn't fall out. And you can see. And that's it, guys. That's how. Let me. Let me. Uh, whoo. And that's how. You install a hip shot bass tremolo bridge. Takes about five minutes. The prep work for it, getting the body, getting everything ready, takes a long time. But putting the thing in is as simple as that. Anyway, thanks for listening to my story about John Gallagher and all that. I want to thank a couple of my new subscribers, JC and Angelica. All right? I'm a small enough channel where I can thank my subscribers as they uh, show up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep on rocking the free world.